Hi, my name is Ronald Mukherjee, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you the Surface Fill feature, and within the Surface Fill feature, an option called Constraint Curves that we've got. Now, with the constraint curve option within the fill surface feature, what we can do is we can define the interior of any patch using uh, splines and curves that we can add as sketches. So in this case, I have a pretty simple fill surface with this patch. And you notice I've got some curves over here. And um, in the second image, I'm utilizing these curves and getting the appropriate bump that I need for that particular surface. So let's see how this works. I'm going to quickly get into SOLIDWORKS. Here I've got my surface model. And if you notice, here is a, a surface fill that we want to be able to use in this, in this region. I'm going to go to my Surfaces tab, go to my Fill Surface tool. And I'm just going to start selecting my sketches and the edges that I want to create the surface fill with. So I'll select all these edges. And lastly, this one. And you notice SOLIDWORKS pretty easily is able to create the surface uh, fill for us. So if I show you from this other side, you notice how I'm not using the constraint curves yet. But a um, couple of other things I want to kind of point out to you in this case over here. So if you notice this edge that we selected, um, we don't have to do any sort of split lines over here. SOLIDWORKS is intuitive enough to kind of understand that if you're selecting this edge and this edge, uh, you're trying to make a blend here in this area. Um, um, the other thing I would like to point out too is um, we've got a uh, we've got a bunch of different face edges and uh, one sketch over here. Now I have the option to apply uh, an edge setting to all of my edges and uh, edges that are available. So if I select this option for apply to all edges, and I can select a, a different edge setting like a contact, a tangent, or a curvature. In this case, we'll uh, add a little curvature to um, um, edge setting, and so SOLIDWORKS kind of blends the surfaces with these edges. Um, using the curvature uh, edge setting. Now you notice over here in our selection box, the sketch five is a is the edge uh, is a sketch that we've basically selected, and we can't really add a curvature uh, uh, edge setting to it. So SOLIDWORKS ignores it, and it adds a curvature to all the other edges that are uh, that it can. The the important tool that we were talking about in this particular video is this constraint curves option. So I'm going to select this box to make sure that it highlights it. And uh, I've got two sketches over here that we've uh, uh, kind of just uh, created. Uh, one thing I want to show you about these two sketches is that they're not even connected. So it doesn't matter. Um, SOLIDWORKS is pretty uh, intuitive enough and uh, pretty smart enough to kind of create these uh, surfaces for us. So I'm going to use my first um, curve to grab the, uh, the bump in that surface. If you notice, I'll show you all around, kind of brings that surface up a little bit more. And what I can do is I can select my other um, curve over here and make sure that that's uh, being used in the constraint curves box as well. So if I select it, you notice how SOLIDWORKS kind of bumps it according to, uh, according to that curve as well. So if I give you a full 360 degree view, now SOLIDWORKS has been able to use that those two curves and bring our surface up a little bit more. So I'll hit the green check to this and show you what it has created. And um, here's our little bump from the side view. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.